preparation techniques before or during practices? And are some are they the same on competition day, or do they differ? Well, I had a motto, uh, and, and many of us in the gym had this motto at, at UCLA, and the motto was this: practice as if it's competition, but compete as if it's practice. Meaning every day matters. It's easy in, in the in the drudgery of training, training day in day out, just to show up at the gym or show up on the track, and and work out hard. But if you're not mentally putting yourself in that competitive environment, then、uh, I think you're shortchanging yourself when it comes to the competition. And so what I did is in the gym when I performed a routine, I did what every gymnast would do in competition. I'd look at my coach, imagine he was the judge. I would raise my hand. Just like a gymnast would signal the judge, and、uh, and then I would turn and face the apparatus and begin a performance. I did that for every routine of my life for 12 years. I never said, "Hey, coach, here I go, doing a routine now. Jump up there and do a routine." I signaled him as if he was a judge, and that told me this performance matters. It's not just going through the motions. And so, to take that a step further, there are times that I would close my eyes and imagine I was at the Olympic Games and the gold medal was on the line, and I had to do this routine. I had to make it successfully, and I could get my heart to start pounding,、uh, and, and, and feel that nervous energy that you tend to only feel in competition. I could feel that in a workout, so I felt like I was in the arena competing at the Olympics, for example, or at the NCAA Championships, or whatever the big event was that was coming up. And then when I got to the actual event, the Olympics, or the NCAA Championships, or the World Championships, instead I would do the opposite. I would try to imagine that I was back at the gym in a workout. Uh, with just a few people watching me, and so practice like it's competition, but compete like it's practice. To kind of get the emotions to balance out,、uh, because you're up here emotionally in a in a competitive environment with the crowd watching you, when you know there's something important on the line. In the workout, you tend to be down here because you know it doesn't really matter that day in the gym. But if you can somehow bring your emotional level up in workout, and when you get to competition, somehow bring that level down a little bit, so you're more comfortable. Then you tend to approach the, the same environment and the same feelings that you have. Now you're in familiar territory. You know how to handle it in that situation, and you don't freak out because you've got a million people watching you on television. Instead, you think, "No, I'm just back at the gym. I know how to do this." And so that's what I would do mentally to prepare、uh, and and to compete、uh, when it really mattered. Very nice. I, I've heard, always heard the first part, but I've never heard the second part when you're actually at competition to imagine you're back at practice. Great advice. In fact, in fact, to take this a step further, when I showed up in an arena,、um, I would I would go before I did anything, before I touched the apparatus or even began stretching. I'd walk from event to event to event and say, "How can I place this horizontal bar back at the gym? So where should I stand? Where should I begin? Should I begin facing this way or should I begin facing this way towards the bar?" I'd look at the palm wars and say, "How can I make this palm wars feel like it's the palm wars back at the gym? Should I face the palm wars?" This way, with the open space in front or behind me. Now, when I did it in the gym, I did it in this, the, the palm wars was kind of at a, a certain side of the gym, and I always began with all the open space in front of me. So that's how I would do my routines in an arena, in a competition. Find the biggest open space、uh, where the palm wars was, and I would start facing that way. So I felt like I was doing it back in the gym. I, mean, I, I went that far, and it really did help. I thought. Very nice. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization MP3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigel, the mental toughness trainer.